Hey, what is up guys, Sam here, and welcome back to episode 10 of the Discord bot coding tutorial series. This coding series is brought to you by Salad. Salad is an easy to use application that allows you to earn money while you're not using your computer. Salad uses your computer's graphics card to mine cryptocurrency and allows you to redeem rewards such as Discord Nitro, Visa gift cards, Amazon gift cards, and so much more. Salad is an official Discord partner with a Discord server of over 40,000 members. With almost 900,000 people already using Salad, why not sign up today? Use code TDE2 for two times your earnings for a limited time only. Thank you to Salad for sponsoring this series. In this episode, we're going to be looking at cooldowns, and that's sort of one of the major things, again, that you need to be able to add to your bot, obviously to prevent spam, but also for things like the economy bot we added in the last episode, for things like the work command and making sure that people can't just spam and earn 15 coins every second, you know? So for use cases like that, it's extremely important. And now that we've covered databases, it should really just be another implementation of a database. So we're going to go ahead and head to our database here. We're going to create a new module.exports.cooldown equals database.define. We're going to call this one cooldown. Now, what we need for this is we need an ID. So we're going to put primary key true uh, type sqlize dot, uh, string unique true and we're going to go ahead and add uh, an expiry so the expiry is going to be the time that we're going to remove the cooldown from the user so we're going to do expiry as sqlize big int so it's basically just a big integer and we will add the command that we're cooling them down from so command will be just a string and that should be all we need. We have the user's ID, we have the command they're being cooled down from, and we have the time that the cooldown ends. So we're gonna go ahead and head to our index.js, scroll up, and we're going to, uh, we're gonna add cooldown up here, and we are going to sync it up. So cooldown.sync. So now we have our cooldown table made. So all we need to do now is implement it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let's say look at our work command. So we'd want a cooldown on this because obviously we don't want people spamming the work command and earning 15 coins every second because that would kind of defeat the purpose. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back to index.js and we're going to pass in cooldown into here. So we have our economy passed in and our cooldown now. So we're going to go and we're going to head to our work command and we're going to now take in cooldown. So what we can do with cooldown is we can basically do something similar to what we do with economy. So check if the user has an existing cooldown. And if they do, then obviously we stop the command there and say you have to wait. Otherwise, we make a cooldown. And then we, the next time you, the next time they run the command, then obviously it will check and it won't let them run it again for X amount of time. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move this stuff down a bit. We're going to do let get cooldown equal await cooldowns. Find one where ID is equal to. Uh, we're going to actually get the user up here first, so we're just going to do let uh, member equal interaction dot member. What we can do actually then down here is just change all of these to member.id because they're a bit sort of uh, too much word, too many words. <laughs> so we're going to do id of member.id and we're going to do command and this command is called work, so we're going to do command work. So we'll do if get cooldown, so if there's a cooldown return. Um, we'll just send a quick message saying there's a cooldown, interaction.edit reply, content, you are under cooldown. And what we'll do is in a minute, we're actually going to install a package that will let them say how much cooldown time they have left, but we'll get to that in a minute. So we are going to do uh, if, well, we don't need to do any more ifs actually, we can just leave this here. So we run the command, we, let, we get the user, we add their work balance. What we'll do then is we will do at get cooldown dot create and we're going to have an ID of member dot ID and we're going to have an expiry of let's say we want it to only run every 15 minutes 
So what we're going to do is new date dot get time and we're going to add another 15 minutes onto that. So the way JavaScript works is basically this is the current time in milliseconds. So we're going to add on another 15 minutes worth of milliseconds onto that and that will be the time they use the command again. So we're going to add 60,000. So 60,000 milliseconds are in one minute. So one minute multiplied by 15. So this is basically getting the time now and adding 15 minutes to it and that is when it will expire. And then we add the command as work. So now we have our cooldown created and then it replies with 15 coins. That's perfect. So we're going to go ahead and improve this a bit up here now. So what we need to do is we need to check. We can't just check if the cooldown exists. We're going, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little check in here. We're going to do let cooldown time equal get cooldown dot expiry. So that's the, that's the time it's meant to expire at. What we're going to do in here is basically we're going to remove oh, this actually we'll, we'll do it again if get cooldown so if get cooldown exists and cooldown time is greater than new date dot get time so basically this is saying if the cooldown exists for this user and it's greater than the current time so it's in the future so if their cooldown hasn't ended yet we are going to return interaction edit reply with content of you are still under cooldown and we're actually going to install something pretty cool here we're going to go down to our terminal and we're going to npm i ms so basically ms is a package known as milliseconds and pretty much what that will do is will let us take a millisecond time and convert it into words so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do const ms equals require ms and all we need to do then is change our text in here you are still under cooldown please wait and we're going to run ms and we're going to put in here we make sure you use backticks by the way for this and we're going to give it the cooldown time minus new day dot get time so what we're saying now is you're still under cooldown please wait and this will say something like uh, 5m or 10m or whatever time they have required left so we're going to bold this here yeah, so basically now that should work. But we need to also add, uh, otherwise, if get cooldown exists. So we know now at this stage that get cooldown exists already. And we know that the cooldown time must be expired at this stage since we checked up here if it's not expired. So down here, it must have expired. So what we can do is get cooldown dot destroy where ID is member.id and command is work. So what we're doing now is we're destroying uh, the cooldown where the member is cooled down and the command is work. So what that is doing basically is we could leave this here and this would still work but what's going to happen is if we don't destroy it it will just continue clogging up the database with stuff we don't need. So it's nice to get it removed when we don't need it anymore since the cooldown has expired. And we can then basically let them continue on with the command. So that should really fix this part of it. We have a conditional if they have a cooldown and it hasn't expired, reply saying it hasn't expired. Otherwise, we are going to destroy the cooldown record because we don't need it anymore. And that should fix that part of the command. And one typo here actually, it needs to be uh, cooldowns. I'll put up here. And uh, one quick thing is actually has to be cooldowns.destroy since we're destroying it from the database. And just this one down here also has to be cooldowns.create, not get cooldown.create. And one more thing we need to add here actually is since we don't know if get cooldown exists, we need to add a question mark here. Basically what that means is if get cooldown exists, get the expiry time. If it doesn't exist, this whole thing will just be undefined. This will prevent an error from happening in our console. So if we head over to Discord and we try slash work, we will see you've earned 15 coins. If we try work again, we'll see you are still under cooldown. Please wait 15 minutes. Again, now we can see slash work. And it still says 15 minutes since obviously it hasn't rounded down to the next minute yet. But what we can do is we can go ahead over here. We can change this. So we have our cooldown time minus the date. But what we can do is we can actually add 
a comma and add the options. So we're going to put long true. And what this means is it will actually read it out long to us. So I'll show you, it would be like, it will basically turn into more English. So please wait 14 minutes. So it puts it into a full sort of minutes instead of just 15 M will be 15 minutes. So it sort of makes it more easily, easy to read for the user. So that's what I normally do with my bots. But as you can see, it's updating every minute. And if we wait until the cooldown expires, and then we try again, after the cooldown's expired, we will see you have earned 15 coins. So for the sake of the tutorial, we'll change this to 30 seconds, just to speed things up a bit. And we'll go ahead and we will just destroy what's currently in the database. So I'll do that really quick. Uh, cooldown.destroy, uh, truncate true. That basically means just to wipe out whatever is in the database altogether. So if you run that and restart, now we'll be able to do the work command again, slash work, 15 coins, we do it again. We will see you are still under cooldown, please wait 27 seconds. So if we go ahead and wait this out, then we try this again. We will see you earn 15 coins. If I instantly try and run it again, you will see you're still under cooldown, please wait 27 seconds. So that is basically how we implement a cooldown system into the bot. You can pretty much uh, duplicate what we've done here wherever you need it. Uh, you could even turn it into your own file if you want, which would keep it a bit more sort of hidden away. So thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.